I want to see the Alliance map. What of Oxenifertia? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. Join my brother. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenifordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Good day to you. Ah, I was just thinking about you. What about we spend a bit of time? Just you and me. I like how you think. over here. Looks like I have a new letter. This marks fewer members of the Order. Another one? You are certainly proficient. As a token of my I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace. There are new maps. Here if you need anything more. I will see you later, friend. Keep exploring!
there was so much we were meant to do. Toby. Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Toby, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed, sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty, not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready, and I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work, as if nothing happened, because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give, but all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents, but in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Toby. Know you are valued.
No sunlight reaches where you are going. May you bathe in serpent skins. Your name? Frown Horde. Quick the dead. Whatever it may be, is stained forever. My name is Horsa. I left silver in the mouth of my home. Please say that it is spent well and frivolously. <laughs> Hey! Hell's house. 
This must be it. For my brother, a large, outspoken Norseman. Norse? Huh. Was he part of the fight here? Probably killed by Edwin's soldiers. Get gone while you can. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I'm asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. Thieving Carter. Here's your silver. Thank you kindly. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window and ran for the river. I'd wager they hid in one of the fish houses there. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. It smells like a fish house. Good spot to hide. Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods! All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount the surprise strike. If Gidrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd. Has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my warcraft? 
I heed back. Always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent treasure. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia and all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers. And, well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Must be blocked from the other side. Hey! Come here a moment! Sigurd! Kill this sweaty fishwife! Stay your blades! This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous stains of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex! And that poxy ass bastard Alfred! We won't have it! Lady, there's no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Xenifortshire. Can we find some agreement? You heathenish fork-tongued Dane! Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all! Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Ah! Oh, 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 what have they done to you? Did you get yourself into? Oh, I was desperate to fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Aver, my stone armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor. Not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands, but he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where, and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Basim, Eivor, to horse! <laughs> Off again, Aver. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Aver. A most important ally. A holy woman, traced in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. The speaker will be leapt and struck!
crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales your siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Basim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England. What larger plan could we need? Patience, Avery. Yeah. Patience. Fine. Keep your dread secrets, brother. But if this alliance fails, you will take them to your grave. This fever will break once you know the whole truth. I promise. to execute the prisoners.
not even a foot. out of here before they huff my head. Heathred <laughs> sent me. Let's get away from this place. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. You see, brother, your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. The Thanes that died here were honorable and just. By my faith, I'll raise a fear of able men and take revenge on Edwin. Bring this news to Giedrich. Tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed.
No soldiers here now. Idris has cleared them all out. Be my eyes, Sunan. Calcia menta mihi mundus est satis raros sedate, sint piorum ambulare in actis nomus dei. Well supplied, that's for certain. Well done, Captain. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Idrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? In spite of our efforts, some were killed. Damn good men, all of them. I swear I'll gut Edwin to honor those we lost. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Gidrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. 
You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could chip away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. First it was the silver, then the books, and the holy relics were... On your toes, or we'll be on the gibbet. You there? Why are you crawling about? A patrol of Edwin's men is coming this way. We're gonna jump them. Oh. 
Them by the bulls, we did. Well done, Wayfarer. Couldn't have done it without it. Tabas and Feli sono tumuit armis venit pluviali. Vel focibis auida mores necne modo in pages. Pax eterna es una via ad emunda.
Ali, that first is to on Etna. Irna, for Libo!
God, we're in trouble! Watch out over there, men! Oh, Christ in holy heaven! Giedrich asked me to help you whenever I could. He's when soldiers have got us in a tough spot. We're grateful for any help you can give. It's a near run thing. Thanks for helping us out. to draw attention here.
harbor. This is the camp. How do we charm her when she's in our care? Do we say what we're after? Or do we dance around the idea? From what I've learned about Fulke, she's not shy about sharing her esoterica. If we ask her one question, she'll answer ten. <laughs> <laughs>